Hey guys, Tech Manning here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Sage Yo-Yo from YoYoTricks.com, and this is a responsive yo-yo, and I'm going to tell you why I got this right after this. <laughs> Okay, so basically this is the Sage from YoYoTricks.com and uh, basically I got this yo-yo because I haven't had a responsive yo-yo in forever. And when I say forever, it's when I got the Imperial from Duncan and the Butterfly from Duncan. That's the only responsive yo-yo I have ever had. And those two yo-yos are plastic and what happened was I used them so much that I had to throw them out because they're called fixed axles, which they're like sort of welded or shoved into the yo-yo. And what happened is, is that where the axle sits, the plastic around there cracked. So it made both yo-yos tilt and um, they weren't sitting flush anymore. They were just sort of beveled to the side, depending on how it broke. So I basically threw them out. And I got this one. It's very, very cheap. And also I got the thick yo-yo lube from yoyotricks.com as well. <laughs> I didn't get this yo-yo just for me to enjoy having a responsive yo-yo again. I got it for a reason, and it's because I've been trying to learn horizontal tricks. So instead of the yo-yo being in front of you, it's actually like towards your face. And I've tried it with my Yo-Yo Factory's Shutter, a Gentry Stein signature yo-yo. And what happened is that I always kept missing the string. And YoYoTricks.com does have a tutorial on horizontal play. And I just can't really figure it out for the life of me. I have tried and it's very, it's like a very difficult thing to pick up on. And just to show you what horizontal play looks like, here's a little clip that I found. <laughs> I can be like that, but the problem is is that I'll need a lot of practice and the Sage from YoYoTricks.com will do perfect. And as I said before, YoYoTricks.com does have tutorials on horizontal play and as well as Gentry Stein recommended as well in one of his videos that you can actually use a responsive yo-yo and that is why I got this yo-yo right here. Once you throw the horizontal brick away, you'll be able to retrieve the yo-yo back to your hand and I will show you later on in this video. So enough of me talking. So as you can see, I'm taking out the yo-yo right now and this is what comes in the box. So you basically get a sort of like a buyer's guide and then you get this green string and I don't really know what it is really, um, what type of it is, but I can tell you that I did replace it with my own set of string. I didn't use that one. And here is the ultimate collection from YoYoTricks.com. You get the Fizz, the Sage, the Civility, and the Ethos. And you can pause the video to look at each one if you like. And 
on the other side, there is recommendations for 2A through 5A. You have the Oracle, which is 2A, the Can, which is 3A and 5A, Flight 4A, and the Atlas 5A. And it's a crazy story because I actually wanted to get the Canon and the Atlas. And I was picking between the two and I actually decided for the shutter instead of getting the Canon or the Atlas. And eventually I will get the Atlas because I think that's a really cool yo-yo. It's very wide, but that is to be announced in the future. And what we come to now is finally taking this yo-yo out of this packaging. And I think opening it upside down like this can be like a really cool, you know, holder. It's very convenient and it's pretty cool. But let's take this out finally. So when I took this out, my first initial reaction to this was the gap is very thin and I can see that because of how it can be responsive. And you can tell it's very thin and it's actually quite, it has a decent weight to it and if you compare it to the shutter here, they sort of have a similar weight. Now we're going to stop here and let's take a look at the specs of these two yo-yos. Now just looking at them side to side, they are really really similar with about a few millimeters apart. So of course the big difference here is that the Sage is responsive and the shutter is not. Why that is, is because the shutter has a wider bearing, which is a large C-shaped bearing. And then the Sage has a smaller bearing, which allows it to make it responsive because of how small the gap is. Now, it is worth noting that if you look at this hex bolt here that connects the two cups together, it's very short. It's a 10 millimeter stainless steel yo-yo bolt, and it's very small. And then when you get to the Sage, it is much more longer. It is a 20 millimeter yo-yo hex bolt. And to be technical, it's basically a M4.7 by 22 millimeter yo-yo hex bolt. So why the hex bolt is so long on the Sage is because it allows the player to switch to a unresponsive bearing. And I think it's a pretty cool idea because yoyotricks.com has a starter pack that includes some string, yo-yo loop, thick and thin, and a bearing that you can switch out anytime once you get into advanced tricks and you don't want to do this advanced trick and the yo-yo comes back to your hand when you're trying to do something advanced. And as you can tell, between the Sage and the Shutter, there is a very significant design difference. Let me explain. So as you can see, the Shutter does have a very different design than the Sage, and that is because the Shutter is unresponsive, but if you do touch the string to either side of the yo-yo, there will be a gap between the bearing and the second half of the cup on the inside. It's quite difficult to explain, but here is an example of what I'm talking about. So that design helps with slipping and tilting of the yo-yo. Now if we move on to the Sage, the Sage doesn't have that specific type of design. But the design is called the star. And because of the star design, there's something called zero wall design. And what this 
design, including with the star and the zero wall design both combined, it makes a excellent beginner yo-yo. And why I say that is because the first thing is that you can change the bearing out, but also is every surface of the yo-yo is being directed towards you trying to get the string into the gap of the yo-yo. And that's really good. It's This yo-yo is made for beginners, but also it is made for advanced players and for advanced tricks as well. Also, if you want to know more about the Sage history and whatnot, you can go onto YouTube and type in the Sage Yo-Yo History Unboxing and Review. And Yo-Yo Tricks has about a 12 minute video explaining the history of the Sage. So basically what you get in the box is of course the Sage, the Yo-Yo String, the manual, and that is just within the box for the Sage. I additionally got the thick Yo-Yo loop. And also I got this card and it's pretty cool, but enough of the Sage review, let's jump right into the actual play of this Yo-Yo. But before I show you the play of this Yo-Yo, I've been working on some tricks and I want to show it off to y'all. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so basically before I show y'all the sage here, I just wanted to show you just how I do. Um, just I just want to explain between these two and how you can do tricks, um, the difference between the two. And I know in my video I used this shutter, just the regular aqua shutter, but I haven't played with this one in a while. Both of them play the same. It's just one's wide and one isn't, you know. So. Uh, let me show you what you can do with an unresponsive yo-yo. So, of course an unresponsive yo-yo, when you throw it, it won't come back to your hand. No matter how hard you try when you tug it, unlike a responsive yo-yo, when you tug it, it comes right back up. In order, and in order for you to bring a unresponsive yo-yo back, is you have to do something called a bind, which is like that. You can do a bind, like a laceration bind, like that or you can do like that bind or you can throw it to the side doing the same thing oops and you can do like something like this or you can do the basic one when you first learn or you can do like a plastic whip bind like this oops like that and do that there's multiple ways of binding things here and i really do enjoy binding and learning new binds as well because I learned one bind that was good with the Brent Stoll with that and the Brent Stoll trick I had a lot of trouble with so let me show you that right now so basically what a Brent Stoll is this so you just throw a break away and you basically wrap it around like this but you grab your non-throw hand and you intercept it like this and it'll make this loop that's happening. So basically after that, once you get that down, um, basically you just catch it and do that. And this is a newer string, so I do have a little bit of trouble with the newer string than like the older string that's on that one and it has more flexibility in a way I guess so let me show you so that's what this that's Brent Stoll right here you pop it up and you do that bind but of course I can't always land that bind so let me try it again like that 
it's really, really flashy when you do that type of line, you know? And I can do it sometimes, but it's, it's a matter of timing, right? But anyways, um, you can do binds, you can do tricks like that because when you're trying to do something with slack like this, um, basically with a responsive yo-yo, there's gonna be slack and when there is slack, that's how you can pop it up and it will come right back to your hand. But because of the surface area that a yo-yo has, I'll show you, hold on. Because of the surface yo-yo that this yo-yo has, you can see that when even when you tilt it a little, there's so much space for the string to land on that you basically cannot even um, bring it up to your hand unless like something's wrong with your yo-yo or like the bearing or the string. Even if you try as hard as you can, you cannot bring it up to your back to your hand. Now, because of a unresponsive yo-yo, there's multiple, th whoops, there's multiple things you can do with it. As I said, you can do complicated tricks and all this. And the best part about a unresponsive yo-yo is that you can do a lot of tech tricks and also you can do a lot of complicated tricks, like what I just did, which is called Spirit Bomb. And as I said in my video, why I got a responsive yo-yo is because I'm trying to learn horizontal play. And of course, Gentry Stein taught that already. So you like go like here, wrap around, land on the string again, go off here, land on your middle finger, go like this, and you throw it to your side. And that's how I've been practicing that. And you can see that it's very smooth on like that. And I can literally, oops, I can literally do it without any issues. <laughs> but basically why I'm talking about a unresponsive yo-yo first is because as I said in the video, I did get a responsive yo-yo and why I got that is because I was trying to learn horizontal tricks, which you're going this way. So uh, basically I watched a Gentry Stein video that you have to go like this, right? like that, and my problem is, is that I cannot do that vertically. Cause I basically tried it before and I get this part and that part. And I usually get it then, but I can't get it. Ooh, just hit, almost hit myself. But what I can't do is that. So, hold on. So it's this motion, this motion. I can't get that motion. And like, I sort of get it because of this trick here. So you go like this and you swing it around your arm like this and then you can reject off of it. But I haven't done that in like forever. But I think that's enough of me talking about um, this. Let's talk about this. So as I said in my um, review video is that I did replace the string with this type of string which um, I forgot what specifically it is, but this one is polyester. It's soft. Um, it's more soft and it's like a weird feel to it. That's why I didn't really like it. So basically it acts like a regular yo-yo and it actually feels nice. But of course, when you pull up, it is responsive. So of course you can do your, like these tricks here, right? And also you can do like your picture tricks with your baby, rocking the baby. And you can do that. And also you can do something like this, which is, this is my favorite type one. And then you can walk it backwards. But, um, but basically I have this thing here and it's not as responsive as it used to be. And I've been realizing it and I'm like, oh, is it like the bearing? Cause usually the bearing, you can tell it's like, really loud and usually the bearing is the problem but I did see it's just not great anymore but I did loop up the bearing and it's still not as responsive see I literally have to I even I'm even tugging and I, I have to tug a little bit for it to come back 
so the that's a bummer i think it's just the bearing um yeah or the string it can be one of the two or the response pads because as i'm do pulling it up i can see the string coiling up really fast behind it and it's not like really really tight here but that's why this gap is so small is because of those of it being responsive and of course the smaller bearing smaller gap means that it will of course come back to your hand there's more surface area for friction for the string to grab onto the response pads and it can come back to your hand so basically i've been trying let's turn my turn this around so basically i've been trying to like throw this horizontal so like like this but i can't get it so it's like really really hard for me to obtain or the ability to do it let me get this glove on here and including when this yo-yo became a little bit weird with not being responsive um like it still is but you have to see you have to it used to come up like that but see you have to pop it up really good for it to come back i don't know if that's the string the response pads or the bearing but basically i learned how to throw it like this because this you can either throw it like this like that and of course you can see my every single time well i don't even have to buy because every single time i throw it like this it's always crooked a little bit and it's not as straight and i have to like adjust it and of course when you're throwing it horizontal you can't adjust it um but basically i can throw it like this but you can tell it just flattens out again but i just miss the string i don't know what my arms are doing honestly i'm more focused on the yo-yo not hitting my face than my arm positions i know it's not supposed to be like down here it's supposed to be sort of like in front of your face and i can't really get it but anyways, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I really truly think this is a very good beginning yo-yo. Um, of course, I'm not used to um, responsive yo-yos, really. I haven't had a responsive yo-yo in forever. Have you all subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there's something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. I also have a vlog. Ooh, almost did it. I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below, and you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was hopefully pretty informative, and um, yeah, I will try to learn horizontal because that's like really one of my main goals here um, this summer. And by the way. I'm actually on summer break for one month because in June I go back to school to for me to actually do um, summer school. It's nothing bad. It's just two classes for me to graduate in the spring of 2021. And also this summer for all the one month that I'm off, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. I'm thinking of dedicating reaction videos for one week, gaming videos for one week, and even maybe doing a few yo-yo tutorials or learning how to do yo-yos for another week, which is going to be pretty cool. So there's going to be a lot more content, so stick around. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. This thing is really loud. And, um, and I hope this video helped you um, develop the knowledge to know if you want to get this or not. And honestly, I think this is a really, really cool yo-yo to have. It's very, it, it just acts like a regular unresponsive yo-yo like this one here. It's very, very nice to have. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is the Tech Manny signing off. See you later.